In this video, I'll show you how to do a chi-squared test of independence between two categorical variables. So for this example, we have beer preferences for males and females between regular, light, and dark beers. So uh, I've done a pivot table here. So for the pivot table, remember to obtain a pivot table, you go to insert pivot table, and then select the two categorical variables. And then I moved gender to column and preference to the rows and obtained this table here. And this is known as a contingency table. So for example, for the dark beer, we had 33 of the 200 uh, sample respondents who expressed a preference for dark beer. And 33 of those were females, 25 from, were males, uh, and so on. So uh, I've copied that table down to here. So I've got a nice clean version to work with, which will represent our observed values. And then I've ex calculated expected values here. I can spell expected there. And the formula for the expected values in the table is the uh, row total times the column total divided by the grand total. And I've set this up with, with dollar signs so that I can copy that formula across and down the table to get all the expected values. And then I've calculated the chi-squared statistic using observed minus expected squared divided by expected. Calculated that for all six cells. And then chi-squared test statistic is the sum of those six numbers. Comes to 6.447. We can calculate a p-value. The uh, degrees of freedom for the p-value for a uh, uh, test of independence using a contingency table, you take the number of row categories and subtract one. So we have three row categories, subtract one is two. And then we do the same for the column categories. We've got two column categories, subtract one will be one. And then you multiply those together. So two times one comes to two. So two degrees of freedom for our chi-squared distribution and the tail area, the upper tail area, the right tail area to the right of 6.447 for a chi-squared distribution with two degrees of freedom is 0 0.0398. And so that's the p-value. And if we use a significance level of 0.05, we'll reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the row and column categories are independent. The alternative hypothesis is that they're not independent. Alternatively, we could use chi-squared critical value. And that's again, based on a chi-squared distribution with two times one or two degrees of freedom. The chi-squared number that has a tail area of 0 0.05 is 5.991. So the decision criteria is reject the null hypothesis if this chi-squared statistic is bigger than this critical value and it is. So again, reject the null hypothesis. So let's, uh, let's see how Excel stat will do this analysis. So you'll find this test actually under this menu, correlation and association tests. And it's down here, tests on contingency tables, chi-square. And we're given the choice of either analyzing the data in the contingency table or the raw data. So let's do the raw data, the qualitative variables. Qualitative is just uh, in this context means the same as categorical. So we'll pick beer preference for the row variable. And then for the column variable, we'll have gender. Under options, we'll do a chi-squared test. Uh, we won't do these other, these other methods. 
we we'll just do the chi-squared test. We use a significance level of 5%. And uh, there's lots of output we could pick here, but let's just get the contingency table and uh, association coefficients and proportions. We won't worry about all this other stuff. Actually, you know what I will do? I'm gonna do the proportions by column. Let's do that as percentages. Okay. Now let's see if we get the same results. Okay, so there's our contingency table. So it calculated it for us. Uh, there's our test statistic and our critical value, degrees of freedom for the chi-squared distribution and the p-value. If uh, we go out to four decimal places, 0 0.0398, and that's what we got when we calculated it. And this is, this is what I wanted to take a look at here, this, this table of percentages. So that's telling us that within females, almost 12% preferred dark beer, 57% preferred light beer, and 31% preferred regular. Whereas of the males, not almost 19% preferred dark, only 39% preferred light, and 42% preferred regular. We can also get that from the pivot table. So if we click over here, where it says values, and then there's a little I. If you click that, you can change how the data's shown. So right now it's not doing any calculations, it's just doing a straight count. But if I change that to percent of column total, then it'll change this pivot table into what we just looked at with the Excel stat output. So for the women, 12% preferred dark, 57 light, 31 regular, and for the males, 19 for dark, 39 for light, and 42 for regular. And I can draw a, a, a bar chart of this as well, which is kind of nice. If I go to insert and then select the bar chart option, and it draws it right, right, right away. Didn't even have to worry about selecting anything. I just had my cell selected in the pivot table and it knew what to draw. And here you can see that graphically, that uh, if we look at females, uh, the blue bars, so, so they have a strong preference for light beer, not so much for dark. And the males, uh, it's a little bit different, less preference for light than females do. Uh, but higher for, for dark and higher for regular as well. Okay, so that's uh, contingency tables uh, using the chi-squared test for independence.